All right. Cure dragon thing. Uh. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So this helps, but I would still have, you know, if you take this out, your grid, I have no idea what's going on. And especially here, like, are we looking... This seems to be we're on the same level. And now we're tilting down to see a top view. But if you take all the grid out, it's going to be a bit tougher to see. So I would highly recommend you have, like, actual volumetric. Do you put some spheres for clouds or something? Or even if you want, maybe, maybe it's, like, on a hillside with, with really tall trees and things can go fly by. So that when you do wrong, you have a clear perspective change with things coming at us. Um, to show what's going on. That's That would be my main concern. Um, as you go up, I mean, this is still pretty rough. Uh, your wing poses are right. Um, just, you know, chest involvement, uh, leg drag, stuff like that. But as a general idea, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, here it seems like he doesn't care anymore that this is flying by. So you can do this and then... He might do like a and then bring up his legs and tuck in his legs, right? And then do this. And then I will probably wait since this ball, this is almost hitting him, right? It looks like it's hitting him. You could wait a bit and maybe at this point, maybe lower the camera a bit sooner. My point is that when he goes down, it's all very simple. So what you can do is he goes like this and then and then on this, this turn, this flap, don't make him go down. He actually spirals. And that spiral, as he goes away, might also help that he, you know, like this, all this whole thing turns this way. And then the next rock comes through. So he's kind of spiraling away from that, that guy. That way it's not as simple. This is cool, but you're really hugging the lower right frame. I would bring this over here, this guy over here, so that his head is here. It's a bit more balanced. Uh, and the tricky thing is, I would then, okay, I would do it differently actually, because he's so huge. And then he drops it, which is cool. So what I would do is compositionally, I'm going to reduce this here. And that should be better. So your guy, all right. So now I'm going to draw over this where your head is here. Still a little bit higher, still around there. But keep this size, right? And then that way the legs, the feet are here. So we see what's going on right now. The stuff is hidden. Um, so I would actually, sorry, that's actually wrong. Uh, keep your head here. But since this is the middle, I will bring in these your other dude around here. Catapult here. And then you can kind of keep the dragon-ish where it is. But that way you definitely have a clear view of the feet. So that you can come out, bring out those claws, and really grab them. And we get to see what is going on. Right? And then even as you go off screen, you would still um, have enough of the head in there. So that way you get a nicer, cleaner composition. And it's not so forming tangents here. And clipping the, with the legs, we don't know what's going on. I don't think you would see enough. And it also cuts the, the dragon off. Whoops. Where is it? Cuts the dragon off, you know, like right there. It's so you would, damn it. <laughs> you would, by zooming out, you would give this a lot more room. Again, head would be here. And then the uh, you'd see more of the wings. Just be a lot cleaner. And then as you move forward, you know, that would be all okay. And I would probably, you can always swing it and, and like, you know, <laughs> and chuck him over this way. So you have head here, dragon here, little guy, ah, it's almost like here, I'm gonna throw you back into your castle or whatever. But you know, compositionally, I think this would be better because otherwise you're you're very right heavy. Like everything's going on in here, which, I mean, you might argue well, but if the head is here and looking, that nose is gonna point, point nicely at the dragon and this falls, he could drop here. You could, you could try it. I mean, I'm not opposed. You can also, if you do all this and drop him, start panning the camera over. So at the end, uh, there's a slight camera move that motivates the audience to go and, and move with us to the right and follow these guys. And you know, you can also take a little step at the end so that 
maybe the guys at the end is here looking this way dragons here and then the guy goes this way which could also be really cool because if you look at the dragon flap flap you know like during all this flapping it's not as interesting because it's basically just flapping so you could easily have this guy change and be like whoa he turns around and it does a little bit of a move over to the right and then then and then you can do like a, a big a big maybe he stops a little bit and 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 uh and yells and then drops so when the dragon goes this way we're looking here the human moves over here a little bit bigger human moves over here so the audience is now looking here how do you get the audience back to the dragon you stop the dragon a bit to like a crazy move or, or something you're like whoa what's going on and then he does a very deliberate throw away and then when it gets out something like that i don't know food for thought uh let me know what you think all right there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.